Welcome to Mega Path Presents. I'm Ronnie Hayes, and today let's talk Fear the Walking Dead Season 2, Episode 7 Predictions. Alright, guys, right out of the gate, this is going to be the mid season finale, which unfortunately means we're going to take a break. <sighs> Um, I don't like that they're taking a break. I hope the break isn't too long, but during the break, they're going to be uh, adding a new show to their lineup, which is going to be Preacher. I believe Preacher airs the same night this episode airs. They're going to air Preacher as well. So I think maybe The Talking Dead isn't going to be on. I don't know how that's going to work. I got to look into that. Why I'm saying this is because I'm going to be reviewing Preacher. If you're interested, stay tuned. We're going to be reviewing that here on this channel. At least in the beginning, if it sucks, we'll, we won't stay with it. But it looks really good. Anyway, let's go into the predictions. So this episode is called Shiva. Now I know if you look in uh, Shiva, there's some symbolism there. Now if you look at the past few titles, there's been symbolism there. And I think that's kind of the trait they're going for. And this might even be an Easter egg of something. No, I do not believe the Shiva, the tiger from the comic book. I don't believe this is going to have anything to do with that. But this might be one of those Easter eggs where they, they named the episode Shiva, but it actually means... Uh, symbolism for something else. You know what I mean? Uh, if you get what I'm saying. Anyway, I think this episode is going to pick up right where the last one left off. I think we'll see Travis running looking for Chris because he's like, hey, has anyone seen Chris? And it looked like Madison and uh, Alicia were sitting there. And I do believe that throughout this episode, he will look for Chris through the night into the morning because we see him running. He's hauling ass and it's daylight out. Now, I think Madison goes with him initially. I think Madison is like, Listen, Chris was in the room, had a knife, whoop de whoop and I think Madison will go with him uh, in the truck, or maybe they'll split up, but she'll help him look still, and that's when he sees Nick. Now, why is Nick out there? I, maybe Nick is also looking for Chris. Uh, Nick seems like a good guy. He seems like he would want to help. He seems like even though you know he hears this, he might think there's a reason, you know? Uh, I don't see him going after him to get revenge or whatever. I don't see that. I, I think Nick would be like, okay, there has to be a reason here. I'm going to go talk to him. And he feels like he could just put the guts on and walk among them and look for Chris. And his mother sees him. And I think this is awesome because then Nick is like, Mom, I can walk among them. This does not help. Uh, my they are not the whispers <laughs> campaign that I got going on here because I know a lot of fans are campaigning for them becoming the whispers and I argue you know very strongly against it and this doesn't help at all yes yes that would be a clear sign of something like the whispers because holy shit that yeah I saw that and even I was like well, they might actually go in the direction of the whispers. I'm not saying they will. That's a discussion for another day, but it's making me worried they're going to go in that direction. Anyway, so listen, I think Madison gives up because she has to have a talk with her son after seeing him walking around with walkers, and uh, Travis is still out there looking for Chris. Now, they do show Chris with what appears to be a fancy handle gun. It's blurry, so it's hard to see. He's It's tucked behind him. It looks like him because it looks like the same color hoodie he's wearing. Now, later on, they show this walker with a knife in his head. This walker, it looks like the iDubbbz walker. Anyway, he's got a knife in his head, and look at this fancy little holster here. Maybe Chris stabs the walker with the knife, leaves the knife, takes the gun that was in this guy's holster, and that's how Chris gets the gun. And let's move on to the most interesting thing, which is Danny. Now, this is tricky because Daniel has not done anything to outright conflict with Celia. He's had a conversation with her, but I didn't get anything that was threatening, you know what I mean? Where Celia is going to be like, okay, you know what? I can see her being mad at Strand because Strand is, you know, digging a grave, you know, keeping him from going into the afterlife, however she views that. So I could see problems there, but with Daniel, I don't see it. So uh, I'm wondering if he pushes the envelope, uh, gets a little suspect, gets a little paranoid, and then. Uh, maybe, maybe the violent background with Celia, maybe it kind of crosses over to Daniel's background. Maybe they know the same people or something, the same, I don't know, there's something there. It, the reason I'm saying that is because we later see him tied up. Maybe they're interrogating him, I don't know. And I think maybe when he's tied up, that's when he has the visions or the dream of his daughter's face peeling off. They showed this in a sneak peek. They wake up and they start running and she's like, oh my god, I can't run anymore, whoop-de-whoop. -whoop. And she's bleeding on her face, she wipes it away or peels it 
away and her face peels off. Now, yeah, that's either a dream or a hallucination. Now, what's really funny is after this, they show what appears to be Ophelia freaking out as if she just found her dad dead and Alicia's grabbing her. Now, I think this would be insane if they do end up taking Danny and killing him. Now, I'm probably going to hate it because I really like this character and I think there's a lot more they can do with this character. But if they killed him and we see him stumbling out of the cellar, <laughs> he could be like Sophia, stumbling out of the barn. But regardless, if he stumbles out of somewhere, yes, I agree, that would be shitty if they just copied that. I'm, I was joking. But if they do show him after they kill him and he's a walker, that would explain why, why Ophelia looks so devastated right now. Because if you look at this image, she looks devastated. If you watch the trailer, I can't explain it other than her seeing her dad's dead. She looks crushed, you know what I mean? So, I don't know. I can't explain it other than that. So, maybe will Celia do something to kill Daniel and create a zombie making Ophelia freak out. And another thing, too, where Alicia has Ophelia here, it looks like the same area that Ophelia was when she peeled her face. So, Daniel could actually be just hallucinating this but then again wait a minute we saw Daniel get beat up during the daytime I just remember that and the guy clearly punched him across the eye and he does not have that cut in the nighttime scene so that whole nighttime scene could be an entire dream sequence I think that is hey you know what I just I was thinking of before when I was um, thinking about doing this prediction video how crazy would it be if you know how they threw the dog down to shoot what the hell we had some technical issues so I'm gonna re shoot my idea and insert it into the video so let's just get right into this I know she doesn't really have the motive right now but let's just say they line everyone up Alicia Travis Strand you know the whole family line them all up all our survivors Ophelia everyone uh, even Nick and all that and then Celia comes over to Madison and she's like you know what uh, I really like Nick but we got to teach you guys a lesson and I know there's no motive here at all so she takes Nick and has her goons throw him down the chute so the whole family's going nuts because now they threw him down on a shoot he's about to get eaten by walkers and we have the viewers going a bunch of them going holy crap that's my favorite character I i'm never watching the show again so then nick goes down to shoot he pulls out his knife guts a walker maybe another one has the walkers laid over him starts just pouring the guts on him wiping them down you know maybe he waits there under the walkers and gives it a minute to clear out not clear out but get the walkers to stumble around a bit and that way he knows they're not going to attack him. Then he gets up, goes over, shimmies the door. And I know some of this might be cringy and kind of stupid, but I'm getting to the one point that I want to make. Cut back to the family and they're still freaking out. No, no, whatever. Woo, ah. Everyone starts turning over like the goons and the farmers and workers there. They look over and around the corner we see Nick covered in guts with a walker army behind him. That is the shit I want to get to. I don't care how they do it, how you, you know, polish it and make it better. That's not the point. The point isn't to judge how, you know, either stupid or cool it is getting to that. That is the main point that I'm trying to make. Uh, I think it would be epic as shit to have either sometime in season two or season three, preferably season two. You know, I think it fits, especially with his mother. It looks like she caught him walking in a herd as a walker. I think that is awesome. But imagine in this season, something happens where Nick comes out with a walker army. That would be awesome. Yeah, that would be perfect now because these people aren't regular people who just want to kill the walkers. That would be difficult to have a walker army. He has a walker army of their loved ones. So now when he's bringing the walker army out, these people don't want to shoot and kill their loved ones. I mean, that's why they put him in that thing, the cage to begin with, you know? Yeah, that would fit even better. And before it would be problematic if they would just be like, oh, okay, you got walkers behind you? Blah, 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 you know? <laughs> now it would be actually pretty cool because they don't want to kill them. They would even have to try to round them back up, put them back in a cell. I don't know. I think that would be awesome. But the idea of having him with a walker army behind him uh, in this series i think is pretty badass that's all i wanted to say anyway thoughts and opinions in that comment box sorry about the end of the video getting all chopped up and whatever uh put those down in the comment box i'm done talking it's your turn subscribe now <laughs>